Welcome to this session about evolution of directivity measurement. My name is Lars Berger Nielsen, and I'm a product manager here at Hodging & Point Care. In this session, you will learn about a new turntable that have been released to the market earlier this year. This turntable marks the fourth generation of turntables from Hodging & Point Care. The agenda for this session is to explain what are directivity measurements and how is it typically being realized? What are driving the evolution of directivity measurements? What Hodging Pool and Care legacy was used in creating the new turntable? Finally, we will have a look at some of the features that are provided by the new turntable. To conclude the session, a summary of the presentation will be provided together with acknowledgement. Directivity measurement. What is it all about? The purpose of the directivity measurement is to determine how the sound is propagating from the device depending on the position of the listener. Alternatively, it could be to determine how the sound is captured by the device depending on the position of a sound source, for instance, a human voice. When performing directivity measurements, it is important to consider that directivity measurements should be performed under free field conditions or using simulated free field techniques to eliminate reflections, for instance, from surrounding walls, the ceiling, or the floor. In the picture, an array of microphones is placed on an arc. In the background, a loudspeaker is placed on a platform. This is an example of a directivity measurement setup where potentially the frequency response is determined, perhaps together with the sound power level, both properties being captured at different angles of incident. The need for directivity measurements has become increasingly important as more and more devices become smarter and intelligent. For example, consider mobile phones where investigations of noise cancelling performance in both send and receive direction called for testing in artificial noise environments, typically being simulated by a loudspeaker setup. When tested in such scenarios, it could, under certain circumstances, be relevant to examine the noise cancelling performance from various directions. For smart speakers, verifications of microphone beamforming array designs is another area that requires directivity measurement. For optimization of privacy performance, for example, in glasses or headphones, directivity measurements are relevant as well. For white goods, noise profiling and sound power determination also calls for directivity measurement. Directivity measurement for evaluation of voice-activated interaction will soon, if not already, become a requirement. For traditional electroacoustic devices, for example, loudspeakers, microphones, and hydrophones, directivity measurements are still considered important and are considered an integrated part of the development of new devices. Back in 1961, the first turntable was developed by Brüllen Care. Some 16 years later, a revised turntable was introduced in the market. In 1992, the turntable was revised again. This time, the focus was to introduce modification required for CE compliance. It was also at this time the possibility for remote control from a PC was introduced. A control box that would enable remote control over IEEE 488 interface were added. Also, a panel for remote control directly by the user was introduced. Considering that parts of the design date back to 1961, it was becoming more and more challenging to manufacture the turntable. Therefore, it was decided to discontinue the turntable and at the same time to introduce a new high precision turntable. This new high precision turntable is shown side by side with our newest sound level meter because the two instruments share user interface design concepts. During the remaining part of this presentation, various features 
of the new high precision turntable type 9640A001 will be explained. The turntable will allow precise positioning of the device uh, under test during a measurement sequence. As shown on the foot, it is also possible to mount various devices on the turntable utilizing the bolt holes on the disc. Wires for connections to the device being tested or the test equipment can be led through the central bore of the turntable. For proper alignment of the turntable, an integrated spirit level are provided. Prevention of cable wrapping is implemented and can be disabled and enabled by the user. A touchscreen provides an intuitive user interface for setting up the turntable. During the development of the turntable, the noise profile has been optimized. During normal operation, the turntable is very quiet. In addition, there's an emergency stop as well as a stall detection, which complies with the EU Directive 42 of 2006. This is also known as the Machine Directive. Let us take a closer look at the front panel of the turntable. Here we find six hard keys for controlling the three main functions, step, jog, and home, supporting clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. You will also find the emergency stop that will halt the rotation when activated. The touch screen is located to the left on the front panel. This is where we will find the soft keys for menu navigation and for setting up the values for step, jog and home profiles, as well as other relevant parameters for the turntable. And of course, we will also find the readout of the current angle position in the display. Moving on to remote operation of the turntable. Here we have the integrated turntable web interface. The web interface has been designed to replicate the manual operation on the front panel. The web interface holds the menu navigation and profile setup available on the front panel. Likewise are the hard keys replicated from the front panel. A stop function is also provided. Continuing with remote operation, for programming of dedicated application, the turntable supports REST API OLAN. Likewise, for USB and IS-232, a comprehensive set of commands is available. For direct control from a PC, a DOS command line interface is available. The table shows the commands that are supported by the turntable, and it should be noted that the commands for the legacy turntable is supported. This should make it possible, with a minor programming effort, to continue using dedicated application made for the legacy turntable. Finally, on the remote operation of the turntable. This example illustrates how an existing application that was made for the legacy turntable has been adopted to support the new high precision turntable. Only a few changes were made to the user interface and other changes had to do with the differences in controlling the legacy turntable over IEEE 488 versus the controlling of the new turntable over USB. The high precision turntable system type 9640A001 is now released to the market and this marks the fourth generation of turntables from Hottinger Boiler Care. It is designed to rotate a test object such as a loudspeaker, a microphone, a hydrophone, a television, or any kind of smart device, telecommunication, or conferencing device. Used in combination with a personal computer, type 9640A001 becomes part of a system capable of automatically recording the directional characteristics of various test objects. Finally, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues throughout the entire organization here in Copenhagen, as well as my colleagues in US, 
for their support, their commitment and dedication that have made it possible to bring this new turntable to the market. Please note that more detailed information about the new turntable is available on bksv.com. This marks the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention.